Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be unboxing this parcel that I just got in the mail from Plant Collective. They are a plant shop located in Toronto and I believe they deliver all across Ontario. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure they deliver in Ontario. Okay, so the first plant that I'm pulling out here is called the Calathea ornata. And this guy's in really good condition, so I'm very happy about that. Now I'm just unwrapping this little mini Croton Petra. The leaves are so pretty on this guy. He's really healthy too. Okay, and this is just a larger Croton Petra. Also, again, in very good condition. Alrighty, last but not least, I'm just pulling out my Rufitifora Tetrasperma. Also in very good condition. Some of the leaves were a little bit bunched up on this guy, but... But yeah, all of the plants were in really great condition considering they were being shipped across Ontario in a box. So can't complain about that. Here I'm just taking out the packing. Um, I'm going to repot these guys pretty soon. So yeah, big thanks to Plant Collective and thanks for watching. Watch me and my dad repot this Croton Petra. I got him for Father's Day. Lots of roots. Wow. <laughs> Cute. Hey guys, so lately I've gotten a couple of questions regarding misting your plants and how I miss my plants. So today I'm going to give you a couple tips. So first things first, you're going to want to find yourself a mister. I get my misters from Amazon. They always have tons of different nice colors and they're usually under $20. Okay, so my first tip is to mist your plants at night or early in the morning. This will prevent your leaves from burning or sun damage. I also like to mist the stems, but this can encourage pests, so I don't do it every time. Oh, and don't forget to miss the backs of the leaves. I always miss my plants once or twice a week. It depends on the weather and humidity. And you don't want to go overboard. They should just get a fine layer like this. My plants always appear much happier after I miss them. Try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching and like for more. So I've been getting a lot of questions about whether or not you're actually supposed to shake your plants. The video was a joke, but um, if you actually do that, over time the trunk will start to grow thicker and stronger. You can do the same thing for other thick stem stuff like, like tomato plants. Uh, for the pothos, all it really does is shake off extra like dust and dead leaves and stuff. It's, it's not harmful, but yeah, shake your plants. Remember what I taught you, Quasimodo. You are deformed. I am deformed. And you are ugly. And I am ugly. Here is everything you need to know before using LECA. LECA stands for Lightweight Expanded Clay Aggregate. It is best to wash and boil the LECA pebbles before using. This is to ensure that no bacteria is present on the LECA. You can then strain the LECA and add cold water. Let the LECA sit in water to soak for 5 hours or more. The longer the LECA sits in water, the more it will soak up. This will provide a better water reservoir for plants. After it's done soaking, it's ready to use. Grab a jar, fill it with LECA, stick your propagations in it, add a bit of water and watch them grow.